Hello everyone, welcome to the 6th tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to Enscape. Now, continuing where we left off last video about the media output section in image rendering, one part of it is called the standalone export, which is right over here. Now, this is the unique option that I really enjoy using. It's beside the panorama here, and of course, we've got the exit standalone and the web standalone to the web standalone. Please don't forget to click this button right here to show everything. Now, why don't we go ahead and start with the XA sign alone and click it. Right, now, choose a folder of your liking. I'm gonna go with favorites folder. All right, then I'm gonna save it right here. Now, I think this is gonna take some time. So, once it's finished, go ahead and check the folder of you're choosing and start up the application. All right, so once finished, go ahead and click your application and start it up and it should look like this. Now, see how it's open on top of the Enscape window itself like so. I can click the Enscape, there, there we go. All right, so let's, this is the Enscape that I have that's connected with the Revit and here's the Enscape that is standalone, so quite similar to it. Almost the same, unfortunately, it's a bit slow since I have both Enscape and the Exit standalone open together. Now, still has the same option, same, same configuration. Let's see the settings here, a bit different compared to the one within Revit itself, has everything, okay. Now, let's go ahead and give the web standalone a try and let's close this one for now. Okay, so the web stand alone should be right here at the drop down option and just click it like the same one. All right, so let's give it a wait for some time. Now, once this is finished, we gotta go back to our Revit or the CAD software and go to the cloud upload management interface. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here in the Revit interface, Click the Enscape button right here, and let's go to Upload Management. Right now, it's grayed out since it's still exporting, so let's give it some... There we go, it's finished, all right. But we actually don't need this one, so let's go ahead and close this. What we actually gonna do is here in the Upload Management, go to Web Standalone, and here it is. Now, we've got here the copy link, so once you copy that, you're free to share it to your friends via WeTransfer or something. As long as they have the link, they can open it without any Enscape license. That goes the same for the XA standalone. You can give it to them via USB, file transfer, or WeTransfer as well, and they can open it without any license. So let's go ahead and give this a try by clicking it. All right, so let's give it a moment. I don't know how long this will take, but... Let's see. All right, now that it's finished, that's unfortunately, WST is not usable with the web standalone. I guess we're gonna have to use the arrow key. And as you see, performance is quite poor compared to the XA or Enscape within Revit itself. The controls are different as well. The quality and the graphic is bad, so I guess we're gonna be using the XA standalone much better compared to the web. But nonetheless, both of them are very pretty easy to use and very convenient, isn't it? So I guess that's it for this video. For questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find this tutorial helpful, please do support me by liking and subscribing. I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much, guys.